Hi, it's Emma Susie Ramore. As I said on my channel, so don't forget to subscribe before you leave anything. So here I'm teaching you how <clears throat> to basically make your own canvas and also how to paint your own sea gallery inspired painting. So I need to go to Target and look for some command strips so I can hang it up on the wall and not ruin the wall because I'm still a renter. And so yeah. So on to the video. <laughs> Field trip to Home Depot. Time to look for some wood. Okay, so and then here I saw my husband and I was trying to scare him, but and yep, nope, not impressed. Okay, so let's just continue with the wood search. <laughs> This is the one I'm gonna use. Yes, $9.99 for an eight by four. So that means two four by four paintings that I can do. Oh yeah, and then this is what I, my husband taught me about. When you see 85 LF means linear foot. So that's only 85 cents per foot, which is great if you're only looking for two to three feet. But if you're looking for more, not so convenient. So make sure to always look for something that says each, just like this one over here is 262 each. So each one of these sticks are gonna be 262. And we are done with our little mini adventure. And then we came to the sad realization that we needed help because our car is a two-door, so we're just waiting because this one was not going to fit. So I forgot to show you me gluing these pieces of wood down, but it's pretty self-explanatory. You just cut them to the size of the plywood. And then I also got these little clamps so I can make sure that the glue really sticks on. And this is the glue I use, tight bond original wood glue dries in 30 seconds so that's amazing you don't have to wait overnight and i really think that if you want to do this definitely go ahead and buy the clamps you'll be 100 percent guaranteed that it's glued on i bought these paints uh in a period of a couple of days now this one i bought it for nine dollars from the return section and look how full it is i'll show you and look all the way to the top and it's exactly the color that I wanted and I also got this one from the return section for 50 cents um, so it does really pay off to search and then I got spray paint those are like 99 cents I think and then all these different paints I got them from Michaels uh, like example this one over here is 29 cents and basically I tried finding them all on sale And in case you were wondering what kind of spackle is that I use, I use this one, pre-mixed vinyl spackle. Just showing you what quote unquote the canvas looks like now. And this is how I use the spackling. I just put it on random places that I wanted it because I really didn't want my painting to be all smooth. So that's why I did that. to wear clothes that you don't really care about basically what I'm wearing this is like my painting clothes so my shoes my shirt I 
I live in Florida, so I'm just doing this. So basically what I did, I just grabbed the bucket of paint, I poured it right here from starting from this corner, and then you can see it goes down, and then with this brush right here, I just grab from the middle and start splattering around to the to the opposite edges that I wanted it. So now it looks like it's just like a big splatter of paint, and I love that. Then I added some gray, did the same thing, and then, you know, in little sections here and there, I added some of this uh, metallic blue that I have. Uh, just in random little places, you know, to add in a little hint of different colors. So this is all dried up already and I still need to hang it on top of my couch. But how we're, I haven't been able to buy any command strips yet. So I have it on the floor for now. And, and now you can see like the details of the glitter. From some of the paint that I had because you couldn't really see it when it was still wet and some of the metallic blue like I showed you before and yeah so this is like the whole complete final product and you can see you can see a little bit of the roughness of where I added the spackling and I just love that look at this If you do like it, remember to click subscribe and I'm going to be posting more videos now. I, the whole move and the packing kind of took over and I couldn't, I couldn't take the time to go ahead and edit some of my videos. I actually have like two or three videos that I have ready for me to just edit and upload. So if you like this kind of videos too, just let me know and I appreciate the comments. So, okay, bye.